Is the Bangladesh Nationalist Party finished? Bangladesh has just wrapped up its general elections and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has secured a fourth straight term in office. But the country's main opposition, the Bangladesh Nationalist Party or the BNP, has alleged that the poll was a sham. The BNP, which boycotted Sunday's polls, is up in arms. On Monday, opposition activists staged a protest in Dhaka. They wore black gags over their mouths to condemn the election. Why is that? You see, the BNP has demanded a cancellation of what they term as a dummy election. They have questioned the accuracy of the voter turnout. And not just that, they want the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina to resign. So how did they get here? Here's what happened over the weekend. Bangladesh's Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina won an overwhelming majority in the elections. Her party, the Awami League, as well as allies, won 223 of 300 parliamentary seats. This victory came after a campaign that was fraught with violence, a boycott from the main opposition party, the BNP, and a low voter turnout of 40%. Now, that number is significant. The last election in 2018 saw a voter turnout of over 80%. The severely fractured election climate in the country saw many opposition members also jailed ahead of the polls. The BNP boycotted the election after the Awami League rejected its demands. You see, the BNP wanted an independent caretaker government to preside over the polls. And the BNP also called on the people to not cast their votes. Now the party has renewed its demand for a fresh election to mobilize support for their demands. The BNP has announced a two-day mass contact period, co contact program. It is slated for Tuesday and Wednesday. A BNP standing committee member, Nazrul Islam Khan, has said that the party wanted to establish a government elected by the people's vote. He said, in fact, and I'm quoting, the BNP and other political parties who are on a movement for the restoration of democracy demand the immediate cancellation of the dummy election of the 7th of January, resignation of Sheikh Hasina and the formation of a post-time non-party neutral government for holding a national election. The party has been saying that no election under the current government could be fair or credible. The polls have been defined by bitter rivalry between Sheikh Hasina's Awami League and the BNP, which is led by former Prime Minister Khalida Zia. Currently, an ailing Zia is under house arrest, remember, on corruption charges. But supporters claim that the charges are politically motivated. Sheikh Hasina and Khalida Zia ran the country alternately for many years and their political contest cemented a feud that has come to polarise the country's political landscape. It has also led to violence around the elections. But this year's vote has raised questions over its credibility, especially because there were no major challengers to take on the incumbent. For months, the opposition, including the BNP, protested demanding Hasina's resignation and this resulted in a widespread crackdown with thousands of opposition members including the entire local leadership of the BNP arrested. Further, elections have also been sullied by allegations of vote rigging but the authorities have denied these allegations. The Bangladesh Prime Minister has called for the citizens to show faith in the democratic process What's more, she even branded the BNP as a terrorist organization. According to Bangladesh's Election Commission Secretary, Hasina's party had won 223 seats in Sunday's polls. But analysts say that the support of other parties means that Hasina's actual control over the 300-seat parliament is even higher. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.